canceled it at all. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting here driving in the car for hours and hours signing books. You want to know why I'm signing books? Because I'm selling books. I'm selling them. And you can get a copy of this book at mtgbook.com. This is the book that the left does not want you to read. Because you want to know something? Why? It's my words. They can't change the words in this book. These are my words. They can lie to you on television about what my words are, but they can't, they can't lie about the words in this book. So what are they trying to do? They're trying to cancel my book signing events, and they're lying about me nationally, and it's pathetic, and it's disgusting, and I'm so sick and tired of it. But I have to thank every single person that is coming to my events, and they are coming in large numbers. This is the most bizarre book promotion that I've ever seen. It's looking like since Marjorie Taylor Greene's book received a healthy amount of ridicule when it was released a couple of months ago, she's trying to use that as a rallying cry for supporters to come out and stick it to Dems. According to her, the conspiracy to cancel her book sales isn't working. So why is she so damn upset about it? You may have seen in the news today because the Democrats are loving it and the left-leaning media are all about it, twisting and lying about the story. But I am so excited to announce that they couldn't cancel my book signing tomorrow on January 6th. And this has been absolutely outrageous. You know, the Democrats want to do anything to cancel everything I say, cancel the words you speak because they hate free speech. The best part about having supporters that have been conditioned to blindly follow everything she says is that no matter what the reality is, Marge gets to simply feed them any explanation that she wants and make that the motivation to buy her book. And listen, if you want to stand up against them, here's a good way you can really make them angry. Order my book. So order my book and read the very book that the Democrats and the, the leftists in the media don't want you to read. So just wanted to come on and declare victory over the cancel culture communist. Unsurprisingly, Reality reports that her book signing was canceled by the Westgate Resorts in Kissimmee, Florida on January 6th due to her decision to make it a celebration of her supporters' attempt to invade the Capitol and overturn the election. It forced her to relocate to a biker bar in Ormond Beach on Sunday and tell gullible followers that it was the mean old Dems not her commitment to MAGA traders. Westgate Resorts even said this, please be advised that Westgate was not made aware of the purpose of this event when we were approached to host a book signing. This event has been canceled and is no longer taking place at our resort. And since those pesky Dems apparently control Westgate and the rest of reality, it was shown that the event was promoted to local Republicans as an exclusive event with Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene. The event details said that the occasion was the third anniversary of January 6th and the cost to attend was $45 to $1,000 to meet Green and receive a signed copy of her book. The one thing Green's angry posts about being canceled revealed was the meager crowds that she was attracting for her book. No one would have ever thought about her book signings until she went scorched to earth and posted about the drama that she created. Because once she did, more images were shared that share a more complete story of just how many people showed up. The good news is that even though her victim narrative hasn't really worked out, she always has one last excuse for her lack of likability that speaks to divisive conservatives. They attack me because I like Jesus. Do you guys like Jesus? Yeah. They don't like Jesus.